but it's really important on why we're emphasizing the funnel and the sphere wallet so much because it brings new users into crypto through the horizon path and that's a safe and pleasant path we've got a good community we got good support good tools solid development team and a plan for continued improvement that we're executing on successfully and that's a big thing in in the crypto world there's many people that want to participate in crypto and this gives them a way to do that which is legitimate so we're making progress on all these areas uh, and we should recognize that it's a multi-year roadmap. And one of the things that I like is that what we do well is we develop the applications and then get lots of people to use them so we can make these applications uh, beautiful, easy to use, bulletproof, uh, identify all the security and scaling issues so that as we add in all these other types of things, we'll have a software foundation to build them on. So that's back to why it's so important to have the funnel, gain new users, and um, you know get them familiar with the tools like, like Sphere. So uh, I'm really excited about uh, how everything's progressing. Thanks. Thank you, Rolf, for the words. And now let's welcome Rob for the final part. Thanks, Angie. Um, okay, guys. So uh, I'll start off by saying I also love the How to Stay Zen convo on Twitter. So please check it out. Uh, it's really cool how much engagement we have. And you can tell engagement by real human beings, which is pretty cool. Um, also very much enjoyed Markle's interview on our blog. Uh, the big message there was take some time to slow down and appreciate the moment. Hard to, or sometimes too easy to forget in this type of environment. But uh, the engineering grind continues. So next week, expect uh, the Zendu sidechain and Zendu mainchain libraries to be published. Um, that's really another big deal for us on our path to beta. And a thought that I had um, talking to Michael in our community was that um, you know the, the publishing of Gingerlib and the um, you know improvement that Ulrich identified and, and fixed on Zexi are just examples of how we've gone from being consumers of innovation to now producers of innovation. And this is huge. Uh, this is a process, though, and it's something that we're really just now seeing the culmination of years worth of work in, in work here, I mean, organizationally to attract the right kind of talent and to focus that talent on you know, some of the most productive things going on in the industry. Um, it takes time though. And that's what we have to realize um, that I wish we could just snap our fingers and see some amazing, uh, you know, technology deliveries and applications running already on our network. Um, but there's a huge grind and enormous amount of work that goes into all of that. So um, see our, my, my big topic here is, is talking about the financial stability of our ecosystem. So this is really important and, and it transcends the Zen Blockchain Foundation, but having, uh, we, we as an ecosystem have some advantages that others may not have. Um, so let's focus on what those are and then also think about what can we do to, to be even better. So we're fortunate to have a few solid like, actual legal entities within our organization. You've got this organization, the Zen Blockchain Foundation, you have Horizon Labs, and you have Horizon Labs Italia. So we have three organizations uh, specifically focusing all of their attention, all of their capital and efforts on, on Horizon, building out this ecosystem from technology to you know, community building. And because we have actual legal entities, we can do things like raise capital. Uh, we can do things like um, raise traditional VC, right? We, we, we can participate in grant programs and tax credits, which Horizon Labs Italia actually uh, recently was awarded. Um, we can do things like participate in some of these government relief programs that are um, across multiple jurisdictions because we now span uh, the U.S. jurisdiction as well as uh, EU and, and Italy. Um, so we have opportunities that maybe other projects may not have. And I can tell you we are have the intention of taking advantage of every single path that we can to make this ecosystem successful. So we're going to be looking at everything. Um, we are already um, doing doing uh, everything within our power, and we're going to keep increasing that. And let's see, I, I can say in conclusion here, despite all the chaos uh, of current events and the macro uncertainty, it continues to extend uh, despite markets recovering very quickly. Uh, we, we're very fortunate that we had a, a fairly sharp and quick uh, price recovery on Zen. Now, clearly, not to the point that we were prior to this crisis, but you know, well off the, the lows that we had in the initial shock and sell-off. And, and that's a really good thing. Um, immediate cost reductions helped align our budget. And we, and we did it quickly. And the reason we were able to do 
uh, cost reductions so so drastically and, and quickly uh, it was because we'd been through this drill just a few months prior, right? We're, we're coming out of a couple of year bear market. We've gone through several iterations of cost cutting and budget controls in that bear market. So despite a few months of doing really well on the budget side, we were prepared to, to simply just revert back to our prior plan. As soon as this happened, we did it quick and, and that's key. Another thing here that goes to just our organizational capital is, is the idea of having great relationships with our partners. And you hear different team members talking about this, like Rowan today talking about our relationship with Flipside Crypto. Uh, but we have great relationships with many, many other partners that are parts of our ecosystem in different ways. And those relationships allow things like flexibility on contract terms and rates, particularly during adverse times like this. So we've been very fortunate there in, in you know, seeing an immediate payoff by having that kind of flexibility factoring into our, our cost controls. Um, and, and like I said, we're, we're also exploring these other initiatives to bring in more revenue, more capital. So just overall, uh, yeah, I can say we're, we're not doing too bad, but you know, I, I don't want to jinx anything, so I'll stop there.